Welcome back. And guess what? On request from Kim. So Kim, sweetie, this is for you. I'm going to walk you guys through foolproof mashed potatoes. And it's just the basic, traditional, American mashed potatoes. Okay? So first, there are several things. There are several things that, that can go wrong. And so this is why we're going over it today so that I can help you guys um, achieve this delicious side dish every time you want to have it. Hopefully you will. Okay, so first of all, you want to start with rolling boiling water. Okay, and this is, I mean, it's going. Okay, then you want room temp butter, room temp milk or as close to that as possible. It doesn't have to be hot. I know some people do it hot and they won't do it any other way. Room temp, room temp, and salt. Now, the water is going to be salted, nicely salted, about a teaspoon, and I'm using three good-sized Idaho russet potatoes peeled, okay? I do potatoes a lot of different ways, but for a basic mashed potato, I like to just do russets, okay? Now, as you can see, I've already started chopping before you guys joined me here. All right, now, what I wanted to show you about this is you want, you know, there's a lot of times when I'm not particular about my knife cuts and such, but mashed potatoes is one of those times when you want all your pieces to be about the same size, as close to it as you can get. See this? about the same size and thickness, okay? That's what you want. Use one of these flexible cutting boards, guys. Watch this. Very carefully lean back so in case little splashes come up, you don't get hurt. We're just gonna give that a quick little stir and let me take a moment to talk about our pot that we're using. You can use a large, large pot if you want. That's not a problem, but you don't want one that's too small. Okay, so our th for our three good sized potatoes, we're using this medium sized saucepan. Okay, and I started with hot water and then brought it to that rolling boil. And you saw the, t the salt that went in. Okay, now here's another thing that a lot of people do wrong. At this point in time, they want to slap a lid on it, right, and cover it. Don't do that. The reason why you want that steam to evaporate, that's going to help give you that fluffy mashed potato that you want, not the soggy, gluey thing, okay? So we're going to bring these back to a rolling boil with the lid off, okay? If you've got a really, really large pot, and I've done this before, if you've got a really, really large pot because you're doing mashed potatoes for a crowd of 25 to 30, I have done this, where you're doing it in your big stock pot and you're having trouble getting that water to come to a rolling boil, yeah, you can put your lid on, vent it. After you get your potatoes in there, vent that lid, but as soon as it comes back to a rolling boil, try and get that lid off, okay? All right, these are almost back to a rolling boil. At that point in time, we can reduce our temperature to about a medium to medium high, but we don't want to reduce it so much that it goes to a low simmer. We want to keep those rapid boiling, okay? Again, this helps achieve that fluffy texture that you want in your mashed potatoes, okay? So we're almost back to that rolling boil, and you see that I'm not just stirring and stirring and stirring. That's another mistake some people make. They just want to stir them to death. They're okay. If they're in enough water, they're not going to stick and burn. Okay, and that's another thing. You want enough water in there where it is covering your mashed po your, or your potatoes. Make sure it's covering your potatoes by at least that much, okay, so that they're not poking up through. They won't cook correctly if they're in too shy of amount of, of water. All right, now to keep it from bubbling all over the stove, I'm going to turn my heat down just a teensy bit, and this is one of those things where you want to watch. Okay. Now that they're back to a rolling boil, guess what? Now we set our timer. Timer, 10 minutes. Now that's about a standard, okay? But it could go longer, it could go less. So at about the eight, nine minute mark, I'm gonna start checking those 
for, t for donuts, and I'll show you how to do that too. Okay guys, it's been about 12 minutes, and we're gonna check our potatoes and see if they're ready. So you wanna fish one out like that, okay? Then take your fork right down through the middle. If it goes away easily like that without a lot of pressure added to it, then they're ready, okay? Now, from this point, burner off. Okay, now, one more thing. You saw we turned the burner off, right? Now, this is really important, and my kids, I've been teaching them how to do mashed potatoes. Okay, we dumped that, but I'm holding on to my pot. There's a reason why. Because these potatoes, once they are well drained, are gonna go right back into this pot. Our burner's off, but they're gonna go right on there. Now, this is where you want to work quickly. All right, we've got our pot here. I think my handle's cooled down enough to touch it. All right, from here, in goes our butter. And guys, this part is to taste, okay? So if you wanna use a different kind of fat or you don't wanna use as much butter, don't. You don't have to. I'm being a little bit generous with this today. We're gonna do a little bit more salt, but not too much because we need to check this later and we don't wanna over salt it. Remember, we can always add more. All right, we're gonna mush that butter into those hot potatoes. Now you're probably wondering why I have put this back in this hot pan. You can probably already see how fluffy those potatoes are, okay? So, now from this point, we're gonna add a little bit of milk. We don't wanna add too much. And no, I cannot give you the exact amount of milk. You're gonna have to do it to your own liking. And the reason why I can't give you the exact amount is because potatoes are all different, okay? Some of them hold more water than others, and you just never know how that's going to be until you've cooked them up. All right, so these are coming along beautifully. We're gonna need a little bit more milk. So far we've added about a half a cup of milk and I'm using a lower fat milk too. I'm using 1% because I want these to be nice and buttery but kind of light on the palate. I don't want them to be just so heavy on the palate today. Now, once you've got them about the consistency that you want, I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk, just a little bit. All right, and you see how much milk we've, we've used there. See that? Approximate, just over half a cup. Now, once we get them to this place where I have it the consistency that I want, now, I'm gonna take them completely off that heat. You gonna follow me, Liz? All right, take it off the heat and just go to it. If you like nice lumps in your mashed potatoes and you go with a light touch on this, if you don't want lumps in it, you want them really nice and smooth, just whack the crap out of them. Go around your pot like this. Look at that. Fluffy, creamy mashed potatoes every single time. From your nice creamy steak, you wanna give it a little taste test because you need to check and see if you need more salt. Oh no, oh that's good. Also keep in mind, Whatever you're serving these with, underneath, on top of, whatever you're gonna slather them with, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Remember, if that is very salty, you might wanna go a little bit less on your salt on your potatoes. And then we're gonna put them in our serving bowl. Look how the steam is still coming up off of those things. That's so fantastic. Okay, mine's ready. How about everybody else? It's really easy. It's just those little tricks and tips that you've got to follow. And if you do, you will have fluffy, yummy, 
mashed potatoes, homemade, every single time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have you tried this out? And Kim, I'm waiting to hear from you, sweetie pie. Oh, yay! So that you can practice like you told me you wanted to. And you guys, leave me a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that. And let me know, guys. Leave me a comment about what other things like this that you would love to see because you know I want to do that for you. And we'll see you next time after you've enjoyed your mashed potatoes on Things Tina Does. <laughs>